South Dakota's public safety secretary's letter to the House Speaker says Roundsburg is, quote, unfit to hold the position of chief law enforcement officer. Beaver's cousin spoke with Kelloland's Perry Groton saying that he's not surprised by one of the revelations surrounding Roundsburg's texting habits. Nick Nemec says the most alarming piece of new information in the letter is Craig Price's accusation that Attorney General Jason Roundsburg was exchanging texts about Joe Beaver with someone who appears to be a political consultant who, the letter says, texted two days after Beaver's death. Well, at least the guy was a Democrat. He's shown very little morals throughout this process. And, and the fact that they would be joking about uh, at least Joe Beaver was a Democrat, so it doesn't matter, doesn't surprise me in the least. The letter says other text exchanges involving Roundsburg included disparaging and offensive statements about law enforcement officers, judges, staff members, even a U.S. senator. Nemec agrees with Price's assessment at the end of the letter that Roundsburg is unfit to be attorney general. The guy's a train wreck. He doesn't deserve the the office but the letter is getting some pushback in pier house speaker spencer gosh says it's another attempt to interfere with the house committee's investigation nemec thinks the letter will add to the politics surrounding the case and might influence lawmakers who are deciding whether to impeach the attorney general there's so much amnesty between gosh gnome the the right-wing faction of the republican party and gnome that this may be the excuse that some uh, grasp on to, to let Roundsburg walk. Nemec says lawmakers have dragged the impeachment process out far too long as the 2022 legislative session prepares to wrap up. Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Well, following our interview, Nemec headed to Pier, where lawmakers were meeting behind closed doors to discuss the Roundsburg impeachment. We reached out to the Attorney General's office for comment about Secretary Price's letter, but have not heard back yet.